Hello friends, the topic for today is LPC2148 pin connect block. In this video, we will discuss the function of pin connect block and how ports are selected for IO functions using the same. Let us start with the introduction. The purpose of pin connect block is to configure the microcontroller pins to the desired functions. The pin connect block allows selected pins of the microcontroller to have more than one function. Configuration registers control the multiplexer to allow connection between the pins and the on-chip peripherals. Peripherals should be connected to the appropriate pins prior to being activated and prior to any related interrupts being enabled. Activity of any enabled peripheral function that is not mapped to a related pin should be considered undefined. Selection of a single function on a port pin completely excludes all other functions otherwise available on the same pin. The pin control module with its pin select registers define the functionality of the microcontroller in a given hardware environment. Then let us see the general purpose input output ports, GPIO. The general purpose input output that is GPIO is a pin on integrated circuit. It can be either a input pin or output pin whose configuration can be controlled at runtime. A group of these pins is called a port. LPC2148 has two 32 bit GPIO ports port 0, that is P0, and port 1, P1. The naming convention of the IO pins on LPC2148 is PA.BC, where A is the number of the ports, that is 0 or 1, and BC is the number of bits in the port A. For example, P0.0 indicates bit 0 of port 0 and p1.16 indicates bit 16 of port 1 then let us see port 0 it is a 32 bit port out of these 32 pins 28 can be configured as general purpose input or output then pin p0.31 can be configured as general purpose output only three of these pins that is p0.24 P0.26 and P0.27 are reserved and hence they are not available for use. Also, these are not shown in the pin diagram. Then port 1. It is also a 32-bit port. Only 16 of these 32 pins, that is P1.16 to P1.31, are available for use as general purpose input or output. Most of the pins in both IO ports of LPC2148 have more than one function that is they are multiplex with alternate function. Let us see the pin diagram. As you can see in the pin diagram it is a 64 pin package plastic low profile quad flat package LQFP64. This we have seen in details in the last video. Here you will find there are 64 pins and functions of the pins are displayed against the pin. For example you can see here pin number 19 has three functions namely p0.0 that is general purpose io pin then txd0 the transmitter output for uart0 and pwm1 that is pulse width modulator output 1 the functionality of each pin can be selected using the pin function select registers so now let us go to the pin function select register the pin function select registers are 32 bit registers any pin on lpc2148 can have maximum of four functions hence in order to select one of the four functions two corresponding bits of pin select registers are required a 32 bit pin cell register can control 16 pins with two bits to control each pin these registers are used to select or configure specific pin functionality there are three pin function select registers in LPC2148. First, pin cell 0 used to configure port 0 pins P0.0 to P0.15. Then second, pin cell 1 used to configure port 0 pins P0.16 to P0.31. Then third, pin cell register 2 used to configure port 1 pins P1.16 to P1.31. Now let us go to the pin function select register values. The pin cell register controls the functions of device pins as shown below. Pairs of bits in these 
registers correspond to specific device pins. As you can see in the table, here 00, zero the primary default function that is the GPIO port. Then 01, first alternate function, 10, second alternate function, and 11 is reserved. Then let us go to the pin function select register 0. The pin select register 0 controls the function of the pins as per the setting listed in table 2. The direction of control bit in IO0 DIR register is effective only when GPIO function is selected for a pin. For other functions, direction is controlled automatically. Here, we will see the table 2. As you can see here, we have the bits, then symbols, then function when value is 0, 0, then function when value is 0, 1, then function when value is 1, 0, and function when value is 1, 1, and last, the reset value. So, if you look at the bits, so these are the bits from 0 to 31. So here we have taken 1 colon 0. That is the first two bits 0 and 1. They are represented with the symbol P0.0. .0. So it is the GPIO port 0.0, .0 when value is 00. .0. When value is 0, 01, it is TXD URT0. And when value is 10, .0, it is PWM1. And when the value is 11, one, one, it is reserved. So, in this way, the table defines functions of different pins on this IC. Then, let us go to the pin function select register 1. The pin select register 1 controls the function of the pins as per the settings listed in table 3. So, here the direction control bit in the IO0 DI register is effective only when the GPIO pin is selected for the pin. For other functions, direction is controlled automatically. So again, bit 1 colon 0, that is bit 0 and 1, value, when it is 0, 0, it is for the GPIO port 0 0.16. Then when value is 0, 1, it represents EINT 0. Then when it is 1, 0, it represents MATCH 0.2. That is for timer and when it is 1 1 it represents capture 0 0.2 that is for timer 0. So in this way all the functions are represented with the help of these two bits. The four functions are defined with the help of the two bits. 32 bits here will represent the function for the 16 pins. Similarly pin select register 2 you used to configure port 1 pins P 1.16 to P 1.31. The other pins P 1.0 to 1.15 they are not used. So that's why we will not consider that. So in this way the pins are configured. Now let us take example how ports are selected for IO function and alternate functions. So when we want to select the ports for IO function we have to select value for bits is equal to 0 0 for the pin function select register. For example, if we consider pin select register 0 and the bits 1 colon 0, that is P 0 0.0, .0 value is equal to 0, 0, then function selected will be GPIO port 0, 0.0. .0. Now, since pin select 0 is a 32 bit register, we have to load it with 32 bits as shown below. So, here we are loading the pin select register 0 with these bits. So all the bits are 0, 0. Now if we change the value of bits 1 colon 0 to 0, 1. So here you can see we have changed the value. Then the function selected will be TXD. That is the transmitter data for UART 0. And if we change the value of bits 1 colon 0 to 1, 0. Here you can see if it is changed to 1, 0. Then the function selected will be PWM. 1 that is pulse bit modulator output 1 and last if we change the value of bits 1 colon 0 to 1 1 then the function selected will be reserved so in this way we can select the function for pins with the help of the pin select register with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button 
शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर यू एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर अवर फ्यूचर वीडियोज ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैव अ नाइस डे